Hey YouTube, you're watching Chef Adventures. I'm Chef Jason. Today we are going to be making a iconic little hamburger known as the White Castle. Original recipe, White Castles. You can make them yourself. Let's get started. They're whipping up delicious dishes. It must be the Chef Adventures. Chef Adventures. Welcome back. First step in creating White Castles is preparing the patties. Let's look at our ingredients, the preparation, and let's create them. Let's go. The ingredients to create White Castle patties include a one pound 80-20 ground beef, one teaspoon black pepper, one tablespoon salt, one tablespoon onion powder. In a food processor, add your ground beef and your spices. We will lightly pulse the ground beef to create that White Castle patty texture. Step two, on a sheet pan with parchment paper, place your ground beef on a second sheet of parchment paper over the ground beef and begin to press evenly. Continue pressing evenly until your ground beef is evenly spread to a quarter inch thick. Use a rolling pin to help with this process. Continue, repeat the process until your patty looks like this quarter inch thick. Looks fantastic. Step three, with a bench scraper, cut the rough edges of the sides of the ground beef until you have created the shape of a square. Within this square, we are going to create our patties. Next, we're gonna take our bench scrapers and we're gonna cut out our White Castle patties. My bench scraper has a ruler printed on it. Not all bench scrapers have rulers printed on them. If you do not have a ruler on yours, you can use a tape measure and or a standard one foot ruler. What we need to do is cut out a two and a half by two and a half inch square to create that ultimate White Castle patty. Looks great. Step five, with the opposite end of a skewer, we're going to recreate the iconic holes found in White Castle patties. What you need to do is punch five holes per White Castle patty. What these five holes do is allow steam to transfer through the patty evenly, therefore cooking the White Castle patty thoroughly. They're very necessary. It's a tedious job, take your time, it's worth it in the end. They look great. Next step now, place White Castle patties into the freezer and let them freeze for one hour. Step six, White Castle uses dehydrated, rehydrated onions. A half a cup of dehydrated onions to three cups boiling water. Allow these to rehydrate. This is going to become the base in which we cook our White Castle patties on top of on the grill. Okay, get your grill top at 350 degrees. It's very hot right now. Your first step is to add our rehydrated, dehydrated onions. We're gonna lay a bed of them down, get them going, and place our patties on top. It's called steam grilled. Here we go. This is gonna make that most iconic flavor. A nice, even bed. Is what we're looking for. Here's our uh, patties that we had already pre-made. They've been frozen for an hour. They are nice and cold and you should be able to just peel them right off of the uh, parchment paper. They should come off nice and easy. Oh yeah, here we go. Beautiful. Lay it right on there. As these cook, um, the edges are gonna to start to turn uh, color when they're cooked. Um, at the same time, are going to put the buns, the bottom bun on top. These holes allow the steam to come through. Um, they cook, the patties cook thoroughly. And at the same time, the buns then also absorb the delicious flavors of the onions and the beef. These are my slider rolls, and this is the technique that uh, White Castle does. They set them right on top. At first, I thought this was kind of strange, but after further explanation about the holes and bringing the uh, patties up to, uh, to be cooked, steamed, it made sense. I'll let these keep going for about another two minutes. They will be 
fully steam grilled. This is also a great time to then add the top buns too, so they can also get some of that great flavor. Excellent. It's been about four and a half minutes now. I'm giving it just a little extra time. Now, this is what we do from here. The buns are nice and steamed. The meat is thoroughly cooked and we're gonna take, we're gonna flip, we're gonna add a piece of cheese and a pickle and top it. Traditional, original White Castle recipe. Just like so. Beautiful. Take some cheese, put the cheese on, pickle on, cap it. Excellent, set it to the side. Let's keep them going. Nice. These are incredible. Ooh, and they are hot. Get it. And there you have it, everybody. Beautiful sliders. White Castle's original recipe with uh, cheese and pickle. It's time for that taste test. Let's do this. I haven't had a White Castle in years. I am stoked. Oh, they're beautiful. Mm. Just the way I remember them. Mm. The extra processing of that ground beef really makes the texture, it, it puts it at that level. The flavors are there, that good, that good onion and the ground beef, the melted cheese and that pickle tops it off. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. If you're not already subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. If you're interested in this recipe, I have the full recipe in my description box below. You can check it out there or you can watch the video again. Hey, hey. And um, any questions or comments, you can leave them for me down in the comment section and I'll get back to you. You guys have a great night. Be safe. Peace.